February was Black History Month and SUTV Sports is recognizing some outstanding student athletes, coaches and athletic personnel here at Chick. Starting off with women's soccer, sophomore defender Sydney Miller made an immediate impact on the Raiders' success. Miller started all 16 games as a key component of the back line in her freshman season. Her defensive efforts contributed to allowing one goal or less in eight games, six shutouts and two shots. Miller states, quote, diversity is something I've grown up with my whole life. However, diversity is one of the last things that comes across my mind being a part of ship soccer. I don't say this because we lack diversity, but because it has never divided us as a group. We play, train, and smile as one, while our skin tones may be very different. We all see each other the same, end quote. Moving on to coaches, Justin MacArthur, the men's basketball assistant coach, has made a profound impact at CHIP. Following MacArthur's successful athletic career at CHIP, where he was named the best three-point shooter in Chippensburg history, he moved on to play basketball in a league in Lithuania. Currently, MacArthur is in his second season as an assistant coach for the SHIP men's basketball team. And finally, the ba this past January, Trajan Dinkins was hired as the new student success coach for Shippensburg student athletes. Dinkins' role is to provide personalized support to student athletes making a major impact on their day-to-day -day lives. Dinkins' role is crucial for student athletes' current and future success. The Pashi King of Mario Kart has been crowned. SUTV's Patrick Ramsdale has a story. The first of three Pashi wide esports tournaments took place Sunday afternoon. Slippery Rock's esports team gathered over 20 students from around the Pashi system, including one from Shippensburg, to compete in the fast paced racing game of Mario Kart. The event was streamed live on Twitch and had a wide variety of close finishes and dominating performances. The most dominant performance came from the winner Ben Callie, a junior from Westchester who won eight consecutive races. Ben gave a lot of credits to his coaches, better known as his roommates. So every day they had me kind of practicing for a couple hours a day. And uh, I would just play with them, I would play by myself a little bit here and there. The next tournament will take place in March and will feature Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. For SUTV Sports, I'm Patrick Ramsdale. To sign up for the March tournament, visit challenge spelled C-H-A-L-L-O-N-G-E dot com slash Pashi Smash. Softball was back on the field for a game for the first time in nearly a year. Looking to start off the 2021 campaign strong, Seton Hill was looking to come away with a win in Saturday's doubleheader. In game one of the two, Raiders came out on top with an 8-5 win. A notable performance from first baseman Hannah Marceller, who had a grand slam in the top of the fourth inning. In game two, Seton Hill would come out on top in a much closer matchup with a final score of 3-2. Ship softball is back at Rob Field on Friday, March 5th for another doubleheader with Bloomsburg. Opening pitch is at 2 o'clock. Hershey is set to welcome a new junior hockey team this year for the 2021-2022 season. SUTV's Adam Beam has more. Hershey is about to get an all-new hockey team out there on the ice as former Hershey Bears hockey head coach Bruce Boudreau and his wife Crystal have announced their new Hershey-based United States Premier Hockey League junior team named the Hershey Cubs. From an official press release, Boudreau had this to say about the new team. Quote, in Hershey, there is a long history of minor hockey, college hockey, and pro hockey, and the only thing missing is junior hockey. Local youth players here have needed to go away to play junior hockey in the past. Hershey is such a great community with passionate hockey fans and families we want to add to their history. By bringing the USPHL premier level team to historic Hershey Park Arena, kids can stay home and play junior, and other players from around the world can come to Hershey and experience this wonderful community. End quote. The press release also says that the Hershey Cubs Hockey Club number one priority is to provide a positive environment and opportunity for each player to develop and move on to the next level. The Hershey Cubs will hold tryouts in May and July and they are open to birth years 2001 to 2005. More details will follow in the coming weeks. Interested players can reach out to the team via Facebook, Twitter and Instagram all at Hershey Cubs. 
Players may also reach out to Crystal Boudreaux directly with questions and send video clips into the team for review. The team is set to take the ice this year for the 2021-2022 season, and if you fit the age requirements, you may just be hitting the ice yourself. For SUTV News, I'm Adam Beam. For more information on the team and tryouts, visit HersheyCubs.com. It was a dominant opening performance for Shippensburg's cross-country teams. Both the men's and women's cross-country teams competed in the Lock Haven Winter Classic this past Saturday, and they started off the season hot. The men's team dominated competitors East Stroudsburg, Gannon, and Lock Haven to place first in the contest. Lock Haven finished 31 points behind Ship as the next closest team. Five Raiders finished in the top eight with an impressive individual performance from the race's winner, sophomore Chase McNair. In the women's competition, Chippensburg placed third while having three runners placed within the top ten. As a team, Ship beat Al Clarion and East Stroudsburg while finishing third behind Gannon and Lock Haven. Freshman Bell Weikert had an impactful debut finishing as the number one Shippensburg runner and placing fifth in the contest. Congratulations to both teams on their success this weekend. Shippensburg hosts their next meet this coming Saturday at 1 o'clock. That's all for SUTV Sports this week. I'm Mackenzie Mitchell. Make sure to tune in Wednesday for SUTV Entertainment and World News. Have a great night.